But uh, on a less serious question, but something that I would find interesting on your opinion, do you have a favorite superhero movie? Uh, yeah, I do. Uh, I think the best superhero movie that's been made to date, uh, and I think most everybody would agree with this, is Winter Soldier. Nice. Yeah, I think that's the best one they've done. That was... It's gotten so silly recently that, you know, I don't want to, you know, I don't want to watch a Marvel superhero movie and be taught about Black Lives Matter and shit. I'm just not interested in that. I want to watch a Marvel superhero movie. And I think Winter Soldier is one of the better movies that's ever been filmed. I mean, the thing's flawless. It's just absolutely flawless. That's that's by far the, the best one I've seen. James you know. Bond style political drama. Yeah. Right, and it's and and you know it goes right along with that. The James Bond movies are among the the modern ones are among the the best movies that have ever been filmed. I think Skyfall is a top five movie that's ever been filmed. It's just there's not a flaw in it. It's a fabulous film, and uh, everything you know. It's one of these things you can watch fifteen times because there's not any there's not anything in it that constitutes a mistake that grates on your ass when you have to watch it and are forced to ignore it. It's just everything about it is damn near perfect. And uh, Who was the villain in Skyfall? Was that Javier Bardem? Yeah, yeah Bardem was the villain in Skyfall. And uh, God, he's a good bad guy. My he God. Sure he's a good actor. He's, he's a great actor, no but he makes a – he makes – yeah, the No Country for Old Men. What a, what a psychotic motherfucker. The guy plays a psycho. I mean, uh, you know, his deviated septum and everything is just perfect for a bad guy. He's uh, he's uh, that that was just a great film. It really was, and uh, it's uh, so much to recommend it. If you if you people that haven't uh, haven't seen Skyfall, I really think you need to start with Casino Royale. And uh, uh, Quantum of Solace was the second one, and it was the worst of the four. Uh, for some bizarre reason, when they shot that, they let the director do his shaky cam masturbation thing. And you, you have to fast forward through the chase scenes because they're so badly filmed. They'll probably uh, let the production assistant do it. You think? Who decide? Who made <laughs> the decision about Brie. that? Because that's they're like here, Bree. Oh, oh, is, is that like a Bree yeah. thing? Could be. Shoot this. Could shoot very this well be. Quick, Could very well have been something like that. What if they fired the guy? You think? Probably yeah, did a verbal know. warning. Verbal warning. <laughs> Can't have this. The, the next one we're doing Skyfall. We're shooting this. Don't let this happen again. <laughs> and then. Uh, the the fourth one was uh qu- was uh, 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 uh Skyfall and uh Spectre yeah, Spectre, Spectre. Spectre yeah it's all right yeah but uh, uh, just Skyfall be hard to hard to top the the new one when did they decide the new one is going to come out what two months away I think so it'll be safe to watch in two months yeah I guess so well everybody's looking forward to that uh I of course will not go to the theater to see it. Uh, because I'm, you know, 64, and you know I'm in the, I'm in the demographic that dies of the deadly COVID-19 pandemic. So I have to wait till it comes out on, on Blu-ray to see it. But uh, anyway, yeah, maybe they'll release it the same time. Maybe they'll release it the day after the election, <laughs> and if, if that would be a public service, it might prevent several fires from being started. Which you know is going to happen, you know. It's a, yeah. All right. Thanks for the call, Steve. Later, man.